Last week, I heard about this tool. It's called ChatGPT. I heard that this tool helps with texts, with crew content, which is great. But I was thinking if this can actually help my students. So I asked this program a question. Give me an explanation of the difference between another and other, which is a very common question from my students and give an example. The words another and other are similar, but they are used in slightly different ways. Another is used to refer to an additional person or thing that is similar to the ones already mentioned. For example, you could say, I have another apple if you already have one. Not bad. Well, obviously you need to know how to read. So I did upper elementary um, student you can read and now you find out the difference. So let me ask the same question for beginners. Well, it gives me exactly the same text with no difference. So next one, word order in an English sentence. It's okay, it gives you the explanation, it gives you the examples, but you need to know how to read. So I typed in another question. What is the difference between above and over? And this is a very good explanation. It gives even examples that make sense. So my verdict or conclusion is this. It is not much different from Google. It gives you pretty much the same explanation with examples and they're good. But you have to be really good at asking your question. For example, I asked, why is this sentence incorrect? I am working every day from nine to five and it got fixated on the time frame, so I started giving me um, explanation about 9, 9 a.m., p.m., uh, 5, 17, blah, blah, blah. Whereas my question actually was, what's wrong with the grammar structure? But do not throw this out because it is so handy and it comes in really useful. When you write an essay or any text and you want it to help you to make it sound very English. You can even ask it to write in different styles. Your style, for example, how would you write to my best friend or comedy style or business style? So that's where this baby does it as no one else. So for language learning, there is still some work to be done for it to be a really good or number one tool. But for things, as I mentioned, to improve your writing or to do your writing, help you with your writing, this is a competition with a capital C.